Hello, my wonderful artists. Welcome to third quarter. It is the first week of third quarter. We did it. Woohoo! If you remember, or maybe you don't, why did we have Monday off? Monday was a special day. Why did we get it off of school? Why didn't we go to school? Why didn't we do online learning? Do you know? If you're thinking it was Martin Luther King Jr. Day, of course, you are right. Yes, it was. So because of him and because of that day we have off and all the work that he did and that so many other people did, our projects this week and next week are inspired by artists that were inspired by him and some of them he was inspired of. The artist you will be learning about, her name is Faith Ringgold. We have talked about her in class before. I have her posters in my room. She is a wonderful textile artist. What is a textile? Textile is fabric. It is making something with fabrics, with yarn, that kind of material. That's what a textile artist is. She has a book that she wrote that I would like you to listen to. She, the artist, is actually reading it and I think it makes the book even better. So I have that link in the description of this assignment, go and watch that book and pay really close attention to all of the pictures. They go by too fast because they are very interesting. So go watch that, come back here, and then I can tell you about your project. Okay, so now that you have watched that read aloud that she did, what was interesting to you? I like that she depicted normal things, everyday things. She had a painting, a drawing of her and her family eating ice cream for dinner. And then she also did extraordinary things like fly over the city and whatever she flew over, she owned. And I thought that was really cool. Did you notice on every single page, she had a quilt around it? Hmm. Yes, so a quilt is lots of little pieces of fabric sewn together to make one big piece of fabric or a blanket. That is important in uh, Faith Ringgold's artwork because quilts back in slavery told a story. Uh, they would put secret codes that could tell other slaves ways to get out. She used that inspiration from slavery in her artwork today. We are also going to use the inspiration of using quilts and maybe a second meaning in our artworks. I want you to do a lot of brainstorming of what you want your art piece to be of. As far as this week, what we will be making is just the quilt border. So I used old artwork, some old greeting cards. You could use newspaper. You could print pictures off online if you have a printer at home. You could use old artwork like I did, old magazines, the newspaper. What do you have that you could cut and use as the quilt border? This is as far as we will get today. Next week, and probably the week after that, this inside is what we will focus on. I want you to think of what you want to be depicted on here. Do you want to be inspired by her flying over the city, and maybe you want to fly? Or do you want to depict a regular uh, activity that you do with your families or that you do? What would you like to depict? This will be super fast since you are in fourth and fifth grade, you know how to cut and glue. So we are starting off with a base piece of paper. I am doing white. If you have construction paper, you could choose a different color for your background. And right here, I'm just going through my scrap pieces, old artworks, magazines, old greeting cards, and I'm cutting out rectangles that are all similar shapes. And a way that you could see if they're a similar shape is to stack them like you would a deck of cards. And if they all are pretty much together, then you know that they are about the same shape because you want your inside rectangle where your artwork will be to be a pretty straight line. You can use glue, tape, glue stick, hot glue if you have it. Um, whatever you have, you can use. And so I'm going piece by piece. If you see right there, I had one piece was, a couple pieces were too big. So I let it overhang a bit that pink piece. Uh, later I will trim that to make it a straight line. So this is super fast but you can see I'm still pressing and holding it down 
making sure it stays glued. And you can go around and press on the whole thing. So here I just trimmed it. And this is as far as I want you to get today. Make sure you clean up your mess. This project is up to you and your imagination. So I still want to see your quilt border, even though I'm very excited for what we will do next week. But still, send me a picture on Google Classroom. I can't wait to see it. I hope you had fun. Bye.